this is Cecil again. I mentioned in my previous video that Yellowstone would be reopening portions of the North or Upper Loop again on July the 2nd. And what I'd like to show you now is which sections of the Upper or Northern Loop they are going to be reopening. If you go to our motel site, which you can see at ysmotel.com forward slash map, that's ysmotel.com forward slash map, there you will see this map of Yellowstone. This at the bottom here is the south or the lower loop. Up at the top we have the north or the upper loop. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the upper loop. And they are going to be opening from Norris Junction, which is over here. Norris is on the road that divides the upper and the lower loop. So they'll be opening from Norris all the way up to Mammoth Hot Springs. So you'll now be able to travel, for example, from West Yellowstone to Madison Junction to Norris and then up to Mammoth as well. In addition, the road from Mammoth Hot Springs to Tower Roosevelt, so this section of road over here is going to be opening as well. Unfortunately, with all the damage that occurred in the Lamar Valley, um, this section of road to the northeast entrance will not, however, be opening just yet. In addition, the Park Service has announced that the road from Tower Roosevelt to Canyon will also be opening. So you can now climb up over Dunraven Pass. This is really quite incredible news. This means that now the entirety of the Grand Loop portion of the Upper Loop will be open. The reason I say that the Grand Loop portion because the section of road between Mammoth Hot Springs to the north entrance at Gardner will not be open and once again the road from Tower Roosevelt to the northeast entrance will also not be open. In order then to access the north or upper loop you'll have to enter at the west entrance, West Yellowstone, which is where our motel and our tour and hiking company are based. Or you can enter at the east entrance and this road to the east heads out to Cody and it comes in again at Lake Village. Alternatively enter at um, the south entrance which you'll access coming through Jackson, Grand Teton and the Roosevelt Parkway. Other information that uh, the Park Service released is that the Federal Highway Administration have completed their final bridge and road safety inspections. Temporary repairs to the wastewater systems have been evaluated and will accommodate day use on the North Loop. The Park Service would like to bring to your attention that high water remains in many waterways and you need to be aware of backcountry closures in the North Loop due to hazardous conditions or damaged trails and bridges. Service in the North, services in the North Loop will include the general stores at Tower and Mammoth Hot Springs and, and Gasoline in both locations and they do say that additional services may open in the upcoming weeks. Let's now look at the north and northeast entrances. What the Park Service has said that these will still remain closed to visitor vehicular traffic while temporary repairs are completed. Good news is that visitors may access the park on foot through these entrances in order to fish and hike and presumably cycle but only in areas that are not identified as closed. Oh, I take that back. The park will evaluate authorizing bicycle use through these entrances. So I guess you can't take your bikes in just yet. Reconnecting the park to Gardner and to Crook City slash Silvergate. In other words, the north entrance and the northeast entrance remains Yellowstone's highest flood recovery priority. These communities are open, uh, but access is obviously a little challenging coming from the north uh, to Gardner and from the northeast to Crook City, you just can't at all. As more information becomes available, I will release additional podcasts. Thank you for checking in.